okay so earlier we have discussed uh, the dynamics of duffing oscillator in the phase space uh, now we are going to discretize the phase space uh, so how to discretize uh, actually if you see the chaotic attractor in the full diamond uh, in the full phase space then it seems complicated uh, so to visualize it uh, normally we discretize uh, we discretize in the sense that we take a point crease section uh, so we reduce one dimension of the phase space so normally we work in three dimensional phase space so when we take the point crease section uh, we discretize it uh, so that uh, we can see it in uh, two dimensional phase space but that is true for uh, Uh, autonomous system, but uh, the duffing oscillator is uh, non-autonomous uh, system because, uh, as you see, this F Y depends on T explicitly. So in that case, we can discretize the phase space, or we can take the point crease section by taking the solution X Y. is a regular interval t which is nothing but the time period of the external driving force so let's say uh, we have uh, we have uh, discarded the transit behavior and we have reached to some steady state state so let's say at a time t and then after t that is after that is at time 2t and then after t let's say at Time three D. We write the value of x and y. So basically, this is as we have discussed earlier. This is the way we solve the two differential equations using fourth order RK method. And uh, this is x and y. So we assume that the uh, when the iteration is greater than five thousand. then uh, we have uh, uh, discarded the uh, and we have discarded the transit behavior so we assume that whenever j is greater than 5000 uh, we have the steady state solution so in that case we will write uh, x and y but we have to further discretize this so we assume that uh, when j is greater than 5000 uh, in that case if mod of j and 1000 100 is 0 0 then uh, we will uh, we discretize uh, so whenever uh, we divide j by 100 and whenever mod of that uh, result is 0 we will write x and y so that means 5100 5200 and so on we will get the mod is 0 Zero and in that case, we get x y. So we are not basically we are not uh, discretizing with the time period. Uh, we are di discretizing with of course we are discretizing with the time period. So we have deliberately chosen the 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 time interval as one uh, by hundred of two pi by omega. So the the time interval we choose in the solving the fourth order rk method is 1 by 100 of uh, the time periods so when j is uh, integral multiple of uh, 100 so ss is some number times 100 so when divide uh, when this j is from this we can say that when j is 100 so in that case the time interval becomes the time becomes 2 pi by omega when it reaches to 5000 the the time interval becomes uh, i think 50 times the time periods so in that way the time is discretized so whenever the mod of j uh, uh, result resulting from uh, dividing by 100 is reached to 0 we write x y okay so this is the way we discretize it and finally we get the result uh, so let us close it uh, 
and uh, we see the results so so let us uh, change the directory because my program is in Q simulation so let us run the program in the directory which is duff ps dot four not uh, in caps so dot slash and dot out so our first is omega naught square which is one minus one point zero second is beta is one point zero third is alpha which is zero point five fourth is omega it is 1.0 and fifth is f so i take 0 0.33 and let us assume that is uh, duffing oscillator whose point cross section is taken at f equals to 0.33 so p is point so let us plot it Okay, so you see, uh, okay, complicated uh, structure, but it's not complicated if you see uh, the coordinates of x and y is very, very precise and very fine uh, interval here is taken. So we will take the full phase space. So we don't want to connect it because we want to see the point gray section, which is a collection of points so the point is represented by circle and let's say it's by eight still you are seeing a lot of points here but this is some error in the numerical computation as well as the finer scale we are taking for x and y so let's take this as a minus one to plus one this is a full phase space for y and for x axis just take again the same size minus 1 to 1 with the 0 0.5 as the minimum scale so you see that is a one point only the point cross-section is one and we have already seen that we have a period one solution so when you have a period one solution in this case if you take the point cross-section then the point gray section is by a single point okay so let us uh, change f mm. 0 0.5 1.0 same parameter but we are taking different f f is 0 0.35 let's say duffing oscillator ps for point three five so let us plot it and see the point gray section so you see a line but it's basically is connecting lines of the two points which is the which are the solution so we will not connect it so we'll take only circle and we demonstrate with some symbol circle uh, we use so you clearly see there are two points one point is here second point is here so uh, you recall just recall that uh, when uh, f was 0 0.35 it was period two solutions so point cross section naturally will give you two points okay fine uh, let us take uh, another f omega naught square minus point point zero beta is one point zero alpha is zero point five uh, omega one point zero and instead of gene four point three five we will take zero point uh, 
थ्री फाइव सेवन सो वेर यू विल गेट पीरियड फोर सो पॉइंट का सेक्शन यू विल गेट फोर पॉइंट्स सो इस डफिंग ओसिलेटर का सेक्शन इज टेकन फोर पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सेवन जस्ट प्लॉट इट एंड सी सो यू गेट फेज फेज लाइक दिस फर्स देर आर फोर पॉइंट्स एंड दिस आर कनेक्टेड बाई लाइन्स सो यू जस्ट डोंट कनेक्ट दैम रिप्रेजेंट इच पॉइंट एज सर्किल साइज इज स्मॉल यू कैन इंक्रीज दिस साइज सो यू सी वन टू थ्री एंड फोर पॉइंट बिकॉज द पॉइंट द फुल फेज फेज वी हैव ए पीरियड फोर साइज सोल्यूशन सो पॉइंट का सेक्शन विल बी फोर पॉइंट्स सो लेट अस चेंज एफ अगेन आई विल चेक टेक एफ इन द सिंगल वेल पोटेंशियल रेन सिंगल वेल के ओटी का ट्रैक्टर सॉरी देन सो आई विल चेंज इस टू पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स फाइव वेर आई कैन सी सिंगल वेल के ओटिक बैंड सो इस डफिंग ऑसिलेटर पॉइंट के सेक्शन फॉर पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स फाइव नोट इट प्लॉट इट सो इट्स अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो डोंट डोंट बी स्केयर जस्ट बिकॉज इज कनेक्टेड बाई लाइन्स सो यू डोंट कनेक्ट एंड देन ईच पॉइंट इज रिप्रेजेंट बाई सर्किल साइज इज समथिंग सिक्सटीन सो दिस इज सो सिक्सटीन इज टू मच यू टेक zero something so point k section is there are in infinite number of points and both are uh, all points are uncorrelated and totally disconnected if you, if you zoom in this portion you can see they are disconnected you further zoom in keep on zooming in you can see there uh, these are all disconnected okay so this is uh, single well potential as uh, uh, single band potential Okay, now you can see double chaotic band. Uh, you have to change again f, keeping all the parameters same as we have done earlier. So instead of point three six five, it's the you can see double band chaos for zero point five two. The file name is Duffing P S P four two. Not that, and just plot it. Okay, the phase space is like this, so it's connected by lines. So you don't connect it. Make circle and then plot it. You can see it's nice point cross section. So point cross section has large number of points, and the all points are totally. disconnected and there is no correlation as you, you just zoom in this portion you will see that again you have complicated structure you just zoom in so you have a large number of points they are totally disconnected so this is the way you can see the point cross section thanks